What's up guys, it's me Johanna, and today I'm going to be teaching you some moves that you can do on the beam. So I just got this beam today, and let's show you some moves we can do. I can do, I can teach you today, guys. So first we're gonna just warm up on the beam real quick so you can get comfortable to your beam if it's new to you. And you can also follow along with this tutorial. So first we're gonna do some just some normal kicks on the beam, like one, two, three, four, five. And this beam goes way right here. I'm gonna walk to it, show you how long it is. It goes all the way to right here. So we're gonna go back doing our kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do a simple turn on the beam. So, so I'm gonna show you what the turn looks like. So you're gonna start here. You're gonna go right here, like that. Now this looks like a full turn. This is a full turn. That is a full turn. So I'm teaching you how to do a half turn because the full turn is more higher level, I think. Okay, guys. Oh, okay. So first what you're gonna do, I want you to go by a wall. Pretend this is the wall. Here, pretend this is the wall. Go up on your feet. Well, don't actually go on the beam. I'm just demonstrating it so you can see my feet. Don't actually go on the beam and do this. So go by a wall. Put your back against it and your heels against it. Your heels, your heels. <laughs> and you're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, whoop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step out into a lunge. One, two, three. Then you're gonna go Finish, one, two, three. Make sure that back leg is very tight, like that. It's gotta be tight. Now the first thing you want to do is you have to have probably a pivot on, a pivot turn on the beam. It's like this. Lock, pivot. I'll show you that again. Lock, pivot, like that. Okay guys. And that's what you do on there. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna get in your lunge. You're probably gonna, you're gonna do like this, put your arm out, not like up to your chest, go out and put this arm to the side like that. So you're gonna stay in that position. You're gonna go on the beam. You're gonna do your lunge. Now, you are going to open so we're gonna open, we're gonna bring our arms forward, we're gonna bring our arms forward, go on our releve. We're gonna open up like that. That is a heel snap turn. So you're gonna get in your lunge. Let's call this holding a beach ball with your arm with this arm holding a beach ball. So you're gonna be holding your beach ball and you're gonna, in your lunge position, you're gonna open up, turn. But you can go a lot more faster than that. But I want you to work on the heel snap turn first. So go, so you go with your foot, go up, turn, like that. Let me do it one more time for you guys. Gonna go on your good leg, Whichever one's your good leg, the this one might be your good leg, you go up. This one might be your bad leg and go up. So I'm gonna use my good leg to step on. And my bad leg's gonna do the, um, what's it called again? Oh, yes, the relevant. No, the posse, yeah, the posse, sorry guys. So, good leg, bad leg, releve. Good leg, bad leg. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry, I'm so sorry. Good leg, bad leg, Releve, turn. You can do that a lot faster. Good leg, releve, turn. Oh, good leg, bad leg, releve. Releve, so sorry guys. Now, I'll show you all that all together. Like that. Now go out. So whatever position yours can be this, this, 
or either one that you want. Mine is this. You can go to that. It's what it's your choice that everyone you want to go to. So I'm gonna do your lunge, holding your beach ball. You're gonna open your beach ball arm, drop the beach ball, go up, and you're going to turn. So beach ball up, turn like that. So this you're not. This is not good to do. That is not uh, relevant. You're gonna go. This right here. This is what it looks like. Bad. We do not want that in a competition. We want this in a competition. Like that. Go up. And you're going to. You do that. You're going to do this. Go up and up. You're going to pull your arms up to make your foot make you go higher like that. And what we do not want is you got to keep your leg here. It's a little wobbly. You want to keep your leg on your dimple. So there's a little, you got to find like a little hole where you can put your foot in your leg. So we do not want your foot to go like that. You do not want to see under. Make sure, like, steady as a teapot can fit on there. So place your cup. Don't actually place your cup. Just pretend like there's a cup on here. Keep that straight. When you're in it, you gotta find your dimple like that. So find your dimple, okay? So as you're going, you're gonna go lift. While you're in your turn, lift to make your feet go up. So. We go lift like that lift and um i am so you are going to turn on your good leg whichever one's your good leg you're going to turn on that one you're going to step with your good leg turn with your good leg like that so as you turn you're going to turn whoop whoa hold on so we're going to turn again we're going to turn, step out into your lunge, then you're going to finish like that. That is how you do a turn. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to do a handstand on the beam. So let's get into that. So I'm going to show you what the handstand looks like, okay? Here it is. Yes. And it needs to be 90 degrees if you can go to there. There. Okay. Now, so you're going to get in your lunge. Get in your lunge. You're going to lean forward like this. And as you're doing it, you're going to look at your hands when you're about to go inside your handstand or into your handstand. So lunge, look at your hands. We're going to do a T. A T is this. Then you're going to touch your hands to the floor. You're gonna keep your leg up, then you're just gonna practice doing a baby kick like that. You're gonna practice doing a little baby one real quick. So lunge, T, hands down, and whoop, hand, <laughs> sorry, okay. So let's do this again. Lunge, T, hands, baby kick like that. Now, I'm gonna, you're gonna go up a little higher to not to a baby kick. You're going lunge, T, hands, kick. Not that much to a baby one. So now you're not gonna go to the T now. You're not gonna put your hands on the beam. You are going to go from here to here. You are still doing the T, but you're not doing it in slow motion. So you're gonna do a fast T to your hands to the beam, like this. Like that. You're still in the T, it's just going very, very fast. But don't go too fast. So, see the T? Did you see the T, guys? Did you see T? I'm gonna go again. 
The T is this. You're gonna see that. That is the T. Ready? Did you see the T, guys? Did you see it? I will show you now how um how um yeah how we do the handstand. So you gotta have good balance on your hands. So your hands have to be in the butterfly position. It has to be in the butterfly position, like that. You better go. Okay, practice placing your hands on there like that. So your hands are like this. Your thumb go. Your both of your thumbs go on the beam, and the rest of your fingers they go on the side. So thumbs in the middle, fingers on the side like this. Now you gotta have. You already gotta have a handstand. So the handstand. Like that. So you already have to have a handstand. You're just practicing like on the beam. So remember guys, lunge, T, hand to beam, up. Like that. Now, I want you to go from here. I want you to go from here. Whoop. I want you to go from here. I want you to practice kicking. Kicking. Kicking from there. Then you could practice from standing up, lunge, practice standing up, push off your back leg. This is your bad leg that you're gonna push off of. Whichever one is your bad leg out there, you can you have to push off that one. So, lunge, push off your back leg. So, lunge, push. Lunge, push, like that. Now, here we go. Lunge, push, push. Now, you can do a little baby handstand if you want to. So here's a little baby handstand, like that. But if you want to go higher level and step it up a notch, you could do the normal handstand, like that. Now, if you want to go vertical, you have to, it's gonna be really scary at first because you feel like you're gonna fall over. And you feel like you're gonna fall over on that beam, but I'm gonna tell you this little secret, guys. When you're doing a handstand and you feel like you're about to fall over, do a split in the air. Do a split. That's gonna help you from falling. So, turn it on the ground. Show you again. Oh no, I'm about to fall over. Split. Hold on. Handstand. Ready? I'm gonna show you again. Oh no, I'm about to fall over. I just split. Point your toes. Like that. Now that is probably gonna help you from falling over on the beam. It might be scary at first. I know it is because um, I've done it almost. I've been in a vertical handstand before, and yes, it is scary. So, let's do it. Yes, I did not do it there, but it does take a few tries to get used to. It does take a few tries. So, let's do the handstand all together. Lunge. Look at your fingers and your hands and your thumbs. Push off your bad leg. Whoa! Oh my gosh, see guys? That was vertical. That was vertical. So, do it. Push off your hands. Like that. And we don't want your toes, we don't want your toes going each on top of each other. We want your toes side by side. You don't want it hitting your big toe. You want your toes equally side by side. So that is how you do a handstand. I'm gonna show you one more time because my legs were all wonky in the last one because they did a vertical. Lunge, look at your fingers. Now you're going to push off your bed leg, go into your handstand like that. And finish. Okay guys, now I'm gonna teach you how to do a mount. Okay. I'm gonna teach you how to do 
amount. So this is like probably a preteen amount for you to try out to go to a level. And I had to go to that and I was probably gonna use this mount. Wait, no, we used to do this mount, sorry. So we used to get on the beam in a squat. If you already know how to do a squat, get into a squat. So you're going to put your hands back here, like that. Sit on the beam. Remember, we're doing the butterfly hands. We're just not putting them together. So we're doing that. We just touch your thumbs together. So put your feet on the beam like this. And you're going to stick your good leg out. And you're going to use your bad leg. And you're going to use all your weight to go up. Like this. I'm going to show you what it looks like, guys. Like that. So, what I said, go into your squat. Put your hands back there. Now sit down. Put your good leg out, and you're going to push with your bad leg and go up. So push like this, and you're going to leave your foot up in the air. You're going to stack, and you're going to go in your finish like this. So squat, go back here, put your good leg out, push on your bad leg. You're going to put both feet on the beam. You're going to put, go up. And you're going to finish like that. And that is how you do that, guys. Now, I'm going to show you one move. No, one mount. So, it's how to do a straddle on a beam. So, you're going to get in your arm position. You're going to put both of your legs on the beam like this. And you're going to just, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just going to put both of your feet on the beam like this. You're going to slide out like this, and you're going to put your arm forward like that. So you need to have a straddle for this. It hurts some. You're going to have to have a straddle. So do your straddle. Keep practicing your straddle. And once you want to go up, go put both feet on your beam. Put the other foot on the beam. And you're just going to put your arm out like that. Whoa! <laughs> and that is how you do that. So that's it for this video, guys. If you want me to do another um, video on the beam of teaching you how to do some more harder stuff, like a cartwheel or something like that, I will do it if you get this video hmm, 200 views and 57 likes. You think you do that for me, guys? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, guys. Bye!